Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is early November. Uh, for me it would normally be early winter but we're still in autumn uh, because we've not got regional geos. The farm is looking golden and green. Now we have had an update to the map by Cavalier Roy because he is looking to get this onto ModHub. So this has been sent off to Giants and with uh, the new version of the map uh, we've got some uh, some updates and some big changes to the farm. Uh, some of you might not like these changes. Some of you might love these changes. We'll see what it does with the gameplay as we go along. Uh, but we're going to keep the changes because they're in the map. I've uh, spent time trying to get ourselves back to where we were because it did require a new save. I've converted as much over as I could from the old and then played through uh, the game to try and get us back to where we were. So we have new cow pens. We have the big fancy automated robot feeder pens. Both of our cow sheds now have auto feeders on. The, uh, the silo as well. Uh, we had a shed here initially that has gone and the manure is now here. So this is where our manure will come in. That's part of the update as well. Uh, because the, the map has uh, removable hedges around the area, you can now um, cut down these lampposts. And they point to the pen that they affect and it will remove the hedges, fences and walls from around the meadows connected to those pens. And you can uh, delete the barn and do as you wish with it only downside is for whatever reason the gates don't disappear if you remove the hedges or the fences uh, apparently that's more of a giants thing than a map thing or a cavalier roy thing i think there's issues with the gates on camson farm as well for some reason uh, hopefully that'll be uh, an addressed issue in version 1.3 when it comes out now that has meant We've had to ch uh, change some of our, not change our equipment around, but move our equipment from where it was. Now, for one reason or another, and I don't know why, uh, because there would have been some junk here, because I kept clipping this uh, silo whilst trying to, uh, or this bin, trying to avoid the junk. There was a lamp that was put in here, so you could cut it down and remove that. I've not done that, but it's not spawned in on my save and the junk has gone. I'm not going to complain about that, it's because I probably would have done it anyway. But yeah, there, there should have been junk there, that's disappeared from my save. Now, the big changes are here, or the big changes for me are here. Okay, we've got a, a large cow pen. I just want to check what the animal numbers are, whether that's increased. 850 still. I think that's the same. Well, that might have gone up by 50. I think it was 800 and 700, or is it 850, 750? Either way, yeah. And this has an auto feed. Manure pit there now. Robot feeder there. Initially, we had our silage pit, or our silage clamp here. We had a lovely long shed that I was putting my equipment under. And uh, that's gone. Our silage clamp is here, so uh, Cavalier Roy did apologise to me when I told him that was what I was keeping my equipment in. Um, but this is the map now, but it has meant we've had to manage our space a bit more. We also have, I believe this is a solid fertiliser storage silo, stainless steel fertiliser tank. And we also have a liquid one over here, these, are, these come in with the map. I've not placed them, I've not cheated or done anything like that. These now come in with a map. So we've got them. We'll need a lot of money to fill them, but we've got them. So with that, all the equipment that was stored over there, I've now crammed into here, and this is my new grass shed. <laughs> so we've got the uh, stacker, baler, windrow, tedder, mowers, and uh, my uh, front loader attachment over there. And I have moved my bales into a proper looking bale shed. So they've been stacked in here. And I've moved my grass over here as well. That's my main changes. 
like I say, I've had to play through the game to get us back to where we are. Um, I could it allowed me to bring over my bales and stuff like that, and I just had to move them. But it didn't keep field uh, states. So the field that I'd uh, dug up and then planted with um, barley, I think it was. I've had to redo that and bring that up to to where it was. Um, oh yeah, because we had a <laughs> we had a shed here, and it, it had a few bits of equipment in it right here in this part of the feeder was uh, my cultivator so I had to sell that and buy another one and bring that back and it's got the same amount as hour of hours on it because I had to uh, obviously work that field again but yeah my cultivator was stuck in under them, uh, them funnels I have moved the um, fertilizer and the uh, fertilizer spreader wheel loader out there because I'm going to need that for more bales I think I'm going to have bales for each one once it's done so this is a big shed here or I might just keep different types of bales separate we also have the uh, the large um, sort of loose storage around here I have placed fertilizer that's all stored there now they shouldn't be stored together. Seeds still over there. Cedar front attachment equipment. Uh, and the same goes for this one. If I was to cut down the light for this pen, which is over in this corner, uh, hopefully I will have done a little tour as to uh, how this all works with the update 3.0. But yeah, you cut them down and we'll lose this fence. And there'll be an open meadow. And uh, like I say, unfortunately, you still get the gates. Just going to quickly run down and show you that we've got our other field. And the same with that one. This light points to that, but it does mean that because the Cavalier Roy said that the, the lamps will point to what it's supposed to be. That was supposed to be angled inwards instead of angled outwards. But that if you cut that down, you'll lose the uh, fence wall hedges around the. Uh, I think horses there. Now, when we last left in October of the original save I was uh, not quite so much these ones but the meadows that we'd cut and done I was rolling but because in doing this to catch up I've rolled it all at the same time right at the beginning in the first two days so now that it's November everything is fully grown again whereas it wouldn't have been so I'm not going to cut it straight away it is handy because we're going to get another cut out of it I'm, I'm going to make the most out of that because I, I still had to work that land and it has been done. If I uh, bring up the land and cycle through, you'll see that it this one needs lime. This one needs lime and this one needs lime like they always did. So if we turn the lime off, you'll see everything has been rolled. Everything. This is growing. This has got weeds on it, so we need to de-weed that. That's a chore because <laughs> we've not got anything for weeds I don't think we need to go and have we're going to have a look at that field anyway so we'll go have a look and see what the state of that field is and uh, yeah what sort of weed whether we need to spray it or we, whether we can get away with the weeder I think we've got an extra £2,000 in the bank just looking at that I'm sure I couldn't remember I think we had we had 30 grand in the bank but we now got 32 yeah I think if we put some narrow tyres on the Massey and uh, go and maybe lease ourselves a weeder yeah, get the weeds out of this if we're quick so that'll be the first job for today this is our barley looks like I missed something on that texture there but yeah the map itself st still very much the same. Like I said, there's just a few extra functions with removing things and some of the other sheds on the other farms have been changed and updated and to what he wanted, to what he liked. So that's absolutely fine with me. I was going to cut this journey out, but I think you'll see that along this path in particular, some of the hedges have been taken out. So it gives it a slightly more open feel to the map because there's a lot of hedges here. A lot of this is all hedged in and penned in 
Uh, I believe there is a lamppost by the stall that if you cut that down, it removes a lot of hedges from the map. I'll give it a try when I do the, uh, the tour. I just wanted to get at least one more episode done because I've been busy um, trying to get this map back up to where it was. But also on um, Uve La Ronde, uh, we've not got nothing to do until harvest, so I'm trying to play through all those days, as well as been trying to play through all the days to catch up on here. So that's a lot of days, um, or a lot of gameplay that I've not been recording. So I need to try and uh, try and get these series um, on the schedule, because I do like to try and be in front, because you have things like this happen, especially as maps are coming out and mods are coming out and things are changing. So let's see what we can get in the store. Now it's not a large field that we have and we don't need a lot of functionality of like planting and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna go with the Einbock uh, Aerostar, exact 600. So that'll give us a six meter working width. And uh, that should just do fine. At the minute we've only, I think we've only got the one arable field that's gonna give us weeds. I don't think the grass fields or meadows give us weeds. So for nine and a half grand, this is what we get for our money. This uh, standard base game, a uh, bit of equipment. It's been around for a while since the weeds have been in the game. I think this has generally been the one I've always used anyway. If um, if I haven't preempted and sprayed, then I would have always have, have gone with that. Now I think my <laughs> again there there would have been post here to take out hedges and fences and I've not got that so maybe that's why my map looks more open than it did before because in changing over the files bringing them into this one because there's been two or three file updates that he sent me in close succession I think as I've converted them over not everything has compa been compatible with itself but I have looked at the map uh, without my save on it and there is there is a post there, so it'll be that post that's allowing mine to look more open. A lot of the fences and or a lot of the hedges have uh, lost collision as well. They I think used to have collision on, all, on nearly, almost all the fences or hedges. Sorry, I keep saying fences on the hedges, um, but that's gone. I believe I'll drive into this one to prove it. Yep, so that's gone. But on land that you own, uh, we've still got the, uh, the little, little stumps in the bush, so you can cut them down and uh, remove the hedges. So you could remove every hedge off this map and have a big open map. And I think that's the idea behind the, uh, the cuttable light pole at the store, so it removes a lot of that, just to give you a little bit more open feel. Like I say, and that's what we've got here and further down here. Hopefully Cavalier Royal jump on and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. He did say he has been following the series, so which is nice. I think he said it's different. <laughs> Maybe he was expecting oh bloody dog. Maybe he was expecting me to get stuck straight into cows and stuff like that, but I do like to have a bit of money. So if we lower it down, open it out. Hopefully, let's see if we can get a decent view. Bring up our weeds. It's not always easy to see the weeds. And I've not changed my wheels over, so it's a good job we're not <laughs> destroying our crop. It's still early stages. That's fine. Put some lights on. But we can see coming out. Hopefully they'll stay out. Uh, I don't want to have to uh, <laughs> repeatedly weed this field uh, each harvest. Just once once will be fine. Uh, because I preemptive spray normally, um, I'm not even too certain as to how often the weeds are growing through. 
her. I know on 19 you used to get was that three times a day where they'd uh, sort of blank at the map and I, I know they still have that fundamentality of uh, just blank at the map as they come through but I'm not sure how often they come through now or any of that so I just uh, put my mic is always rub up my eye yeah the map's looking uh, looking very nice autumnal so busy uh, sorting out the meadows for the grass. Didn't really see much panoramic, especially when I was uh, in close trying to do my bales and things like that. The uh, my bale moving stacking episode hasn't gone out yet, so I don't know if people even enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed doing the inside the cab stuff. So uh, as I say many times in the episode, I like doing it that way because it's quite a challenge. And I do like to challenge myself with a bit of gameplay sometimes. Maybe we still had a little bit of grass on that side because it's disappeared and left us that um, rolled grass state. Now I'm not 100%, so if someone can tell me in the comments, that'd be great whether our roller, because I think our roller has the tines, works as a weeder as well. If it does, I'll sell this. It's sort of that simple. Oh, I've missed a patch in redoing the field like Mr. Patch. Just a couple. But yeah, that's grass on the edge, and that's now going to get wiped out. I did notice uh, a minute ago when we were looking at the fields that where I've driven over it after rolling it is showing that it needs rolling again. So it's as if the me driving over it has caused some sort of compaction that needs to be sorted out, but rolling creates compaction, so I'm not quite sure what that is. So I don't know if now that I've driven over this with uh, regular standard tyres on, where it's going to have large areas where it's going to need rolling again, and those little strips are going to uh, reduce um, yield by 2.5% on them little areas, because that's all you get from rolling. If you roll your field, you gain 2.5% um, yield. So there's still so much for me to learn. As much as I play this game, and I've said before, all the time that I play, pretty much recorded, especially on PC. I sometimes stick the console on uh, late at night and have a crack on that while uh, videos are rendering and getting this being done. Um, but those saves are always much further behind uh, my PC saves. So I'm still, still learning quite a lot, although we're quite a way to uh, FS22. getting out all of the weeds. If I just uh, jump out here. And here. I think that is fully grown. Uh, so that would need spraying. It says weed partial. 
to, need to hoe up. So we've got that there, but also... That needs a fully grown weeds as well that have come through. They're there now. It's not going to be completely clear, but it's going to be better than it was. So they've come through. It's a shame we can't just pull it out by hand. I'd happily just do that. Or if we had a manual hoe, so we could just dig it out. More there, but that's in the what's growing. So where they look like they're starting to bud, they would grow into much bigger weeds. Um, so I guess the small ones just just can't get rid of it in the barley. Okay. Like I say, if the roller will do it, then we'll, we'll sell the weeder again anyway. I meant, I did say I was going to lease it, but I got carried away and brought it. And uh, I don't, I don't generally backtrack and edit out mistakes. So we accidentally brought it. We accidentally live with it. Now, hopefully. Uh, not hopefully, it will. We'll jump out again at the end and we'll see what the uh, predicted sort of yield is going to be. Because we've done, other, I think, other than lime it, I think we've done everything we can for it. I don't think we limed it. It feels so long ago now. Especially with the uh, restart. I know I didn't lime it. So <laughs> the states didn't come over with us, I don't think. All of our other meadows, though, they are double fertilised. They've been spread, they've been rolled, I think because they've been cut and rolled, and then because they've been rolled and then sprayed. They've all got doubles, which is good. So we should get t a ton of grass on this next cut, and it is going to be earlier than, uh, than maybe would have been. Because I think it's still going to be there all through uh, winter. Yeah. I'm just going to jump out again and have a little look. So we've got 92% yield bonus on most of it. 90, 92, 90, 92. Yeah, that's good. That's not bad. For us. <laughs> it needs ploughing and it needs uh, liming. Which obviously would help. I can, uh, I can take eight, you know. 85 to 90. It's not bad. But yeah, it doesn't appear that um, weeds grow through into our grass meadows. But with a new bit of equipment, I need to now go and find another new bit of space. So where to keep? I think we might put it around by where I put the fertiliser. I think I've got a spot there. I mean, these little sheds have little spots, but you can store other things in them. You can store whatever you want in anything, to be fair, but I, I might store other things in them. I'm not quite sure what else we're going to want machinery-wise. Obviously, obviously, we're going to be uh, leasing a harvester when it comes round to it. Uh, the cheapest one we can find. It's only a small field. We will lease the cheapest harvester we can get. engine off. Well, that's it, our, our grasses, our grass, our grass is, has grown, our grass is well looked after, our barley is well looked after, it's just a shame about them, them small wheels, wheels, I can't get my words out today, them small weeds that have uh, sort of infested and are reluctant to leave. I think that's going to be it for today, probably a short one, but we've, ha like I said, I've been really busy doing a lot to get back to where we are. I think that's why I'm a little bit um, off-spoken and uh, confuddled today. Hopefully the next episode things will be smoother <laughs> linguistically. So hopefully you enjoyed it. The update on the new map, uh, update on what I've been doing and uh, yeah we've got a job done. So I don't know maybe I'll go off and get a contract do that off screen to earn some money back maybe I'll show it in the next episode or maybe you'll come back to me and excitingly we shall recut our grass and uh, maybe try and get a load in the silage clamp just to be different rather than bail it and do the exact same we'll uh, we'll fill up the silage clamp we've got our, our load of wagon 
Um, that's got some grass in. We can get that in there and then pick everything up and then save our last uh, load in the wagon again. So we've always got some grass. So yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I do like comments and feedback. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.